It's back, the show that stops a nation. You probably know that because I've already done one recap. But nonetheless, just in case you're new to this, welcome to Australia, because everybody knows about maths, and I've got no idea why, seeing as it's like pretty much every other reality show, but everyone seems to be fixated with the most boring one. <sighs> Including myself, against my will. Like this video if you're a boyfriend that is in the exact same predicament. God, I really do have two girlfriends, don't I? My actual girlfriend and my YouTube audience, which as soon as this show's on. Watch f***ing maps with me! Okay, I'm watching it! Shut up! Subscribe and like! No, no wasting time! Oh, okay, one way street, thanks. I don't get much attention from the opposite sex. Can't see why. I don't look like Brad Pitt, but I don't look like Tony Abbott, so. No, you don't, because Tony Abbott is much more handsome than you. And that's not a slide on you, mate. Well, it sort of is, but Tony Abbott is a very handsome man. Every time I look at him, I'm just like, are you 26 or 28? No, I'm 53. Ah, what's your secret? Is the Pantene? That's a shampoo, mate. Do you use it? Yes. I've tried Tinder, I've tried Bumble. They just go, look at this dude. He's got a head like a bash crab. Swipe left. Uh, can we just compare his head to a bashed crab? What do you think? Comment below. The house is pretty good. It currently holds a few things. There's a few, I guess, more boys' toys. God, one of those massage chairs that you're supposed to put two bucks in at the mall, if you have that in your house, that is a really strong statement in life, isn't it? Which is, I am very comfortable in my rut, thank you very much. The only way I could get more comfortable is if you've got that little gold neck thing here. No, nah, that actually hurts a lot more. Best 5,000 bucks ever. I don't have children, but they might as well be. Ride within your abilities, but most importantly, make sure you smile and have fun. Because that's what riding's about, lads. Alrighty. All good? Yeah. All good? Okay, that didn't look like Rocco's of Freddy hanging out with his kids in the Australian context at all. Ladies, if you're in the market, I have the perfect mining engineer, I'm assuming, for you. Hey, you got kids, I don't know. That's all right. You're my son now. Come on, we're going bike riding. I'm Russell. Russell, I'm Beth. Nice to meet you, Beth. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> wow, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Oh, they seem like a nice awesome. couple. Pretty crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you think they seem lovely together? I'm not even joking. I hope they have a Brady Bunch scenario, except for here's my nephews and here's my nieces. Just give me one second. I'm just going to change cameras. Yeah. Oh, again, what is your obsession with Bondi maths? Go to Koji. It's better. And he's freaked out by seaweed. It's better content too. I'm sick of seeing those. Hey, favelas in the background, mates. Make up your mind, Bondi. Are you Brazil or are you Brighton? Uh, what? It just reminds me of when you go to a Lebanese restaurant and they go, Hey, we're going to do some belly dancing. Don't. If I want to go to a strip club, I'll go to a strip club. Just chuck falafels in my mouth. I'll even open it like a clown. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know we make it every season, but it has to be pointed out again. Frankenbiting is funny as f And that is the funniest Frankenbiting in the last eight seasons. The editors really don't give a sh** anymore. They just chucked in an Owen Wilson. Wow. He didn't say it. Favourite colour. I really feel like there has to be more to him than pure awkwardness. Holy shit. I just realised why I like this guy so much. It's Daniel Andrews' brother. <laughs> or as Miss Up from the Pod likes to call him, Dave Andrews. And I think we know in a battle of what is his name, I'm pretty sure Miss Love knows what his name is better than him. Change your name to it, Dad. Maybe I'll give you a little foot massage. Yes, yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. I can't, I can't um, say I'm be the best in the foot massage. I mean, that's pretty good. But, you know, just give it my best shot. 
interesting. Like it was a nice foot massage. So I've never done a massage for someone, so mm -hmm. you know. Jesus, the producers of this show are sadistic. You know what the next season will be? They'll just chuck a couple in a pit with five lions and be like, let's just see how they relate in stress. Okay, we only have two timestamps for this episode because would you guess from a show that is stretched out to I think eight hours over a week about extremely boring normal people, boring. So is Beck the type of girl that you would normally approach in the outside world? Or? She is, yeah. Yep, she physically? Is. Well, physically, yes. Well, who wouldn't, like, honestly? First, exactly. Like, physically, yes. Well, first, right? when, first <laughs> when I seen her, uh, I was blown away. Yeah. Getting to know Beck, it's been, and we've had our challenges, obviously. Yeah. She's so headstrong, it's very challenging for me. Yeah, I don't know if that's normal, but we've had our challenges, obviously. That's something that you say seven years into a relationship, not seven hours. I swear there is a correlation between how much a woman has this resting face and how f they are to hang around. I was planning to come here together, so, you know, I, again... So you're planning on coming here together after you left me on the honeymoon and walked off and ripped your microphone off and said, why am I matched with this girl? I want out of this experiment because of our first hard conversation. That to me is not commitment. Cold hard facts. Yeah, you got nothing to say and I'm sure that isn't an editing trick. Oh wait, it clearly is. Still, post shop owned. Oh, it's done a walk, the first walk of the show. Lap of honor, mate! Yeah! Oh, he's gone into the little sook room. <laughs> I had my behaviour reflected to me. Oh. Whew, okay. Um, something I haven't told anyone. Um, I regret not sticking up for myself more and setting stronger boundaries with certain people, like my ex-husband. And like, I think that there were times when I was really desperate for love. And so I allowed people in my life to treat me very badly. Oh, for f sake, what kind of answer is that? I hate those resume responses of, I think that my biggest fault as a person is that I'm too good of a person. No, you're a narcissistic c It's a kick in the guts. Fourth, you don't even get a medal for that. Oh. Yeah. Big kick in the guts. I don't mean to offend you, but... Oh. What the... <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. You can't fail the first test of being a boyfriend and wonder why you don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> you never, ever say to your girlfriend, yeah, 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 Jessica Alba's pretty hot as well. In fact, I'd say that she's hotter. No, no, you always have to go, no, no, no. Hottest woman on earth. There's Victoria's Secret models, but you're hotter. I'm kind of looking at it as if I was out at a bar. Wow, for f Don't be honest, just lie. How have you not learned this by 17? Women don't want the truth. Wait, so where's right. she? So I'll just like do them underneath. Yeah. All right. Jake, number one. I would put in number one as well. Oh, that's a shame. Where's Daniel Andrews on the list? Oh, sorry, Dave Andrews. But now it's time to rank each other. Okay. Let's fight. Want me to yeah. go first? Yeah, go for it. I think in this experiment you have to be honest. With Coco, I've been pretty honest and you know I'm gonna to continue to be. I'll put you there. I put Coco fourth. Her body type is not really the one that I'd normally go for. Any surprises? Oh. No, no. Ah, uh, no. Nah, I'm tapping out. That's the end. I don't know how that episode finishes. I don't want to know. We're coming back to this very reluctantly next week, but purely for the view, so make sure that you like this, because 
it's too much. I can't handle this. People that hate each other and are spiting each just to spite each other. I think you're extremely ugly, yeah? Well, I think you're uglier. And we're just gonna pretend that everything's fine. It's hell. Maths is hell! Like and subscribe. See you next week. Please share and comment below. Come in.